In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to activate FaceTime and fix any activation issues you might encounter on your iPhone. Whether you're setting up FaceTime for the first time or having trouble getting it to work properly, this guide will walk you through the process step by step. Getting started with FaceTime is quite straightforward once you know the right steps, and I'll help ensure that you can video chat seamlessly with your friends and family. First, ensure that your iPhone is connected to the internet. This might seem basic, but a strong and stable internet connection is crucial for FaceTime to activate. Once you're online, navigate to your phone's settings. From there, head over to apps and scroll down until you find FaceTime. Once you're there, you'll want to toggle FaceTime on if it isn't already. If prompted, sign in with your Apple ID. This step is vital because your Apple ID connects you to Apple services. After you've signed in, you'll need to be patient as your device begins the activation process. You might see a message saying waiting for activation, and this can take anywhere from a few minutes to a couple of hours. So grab a coffee and let your iPhone do its thing. However, if after a reasonable amount of time FaceTime refuses to activate, there are a few troubleshooting steps we can try. First, check that your date and time settings are correct. It's important that these are set accurately, as incorrect time settings can hinder the activation process. To do this, go to settings, then general, and select date and time. Here, make sure you've set it to set automatically. Allow your iPhone to sync to the correct local time. Next, ensure that your SIM card is able to send SMS messages. This might surprise you, but FaceTime activation involves sending a hidden SMS to Apple servers. If your current SIM plan doesn't support SMS or you're experiencing issues with your carrier, the activation could fail. It's also a good idea to check for any software updates. Sometimes the solution to these issues is simply making sure your device is running the latest version of iOS. To do this, go to Settings, then General, and tap Software Update. If an update is available, go ahead and install it. If you're still stuck, try signing out of your Apple ID and signing back in. Go to Settings, then FaceTime, and tap on Apple ID. Here, choose to sign out. Restart your iPhone, and when it's back on, sign back in with your Apple ID. Following these steps should help solve any problems you encounter. It's always a good idea to keep your device updated, your settings correct, and your connection strong to ensure all Apple services run smoothly. Thank you for watching, and I hope this guide has been helpful in getting you connected with FaceTime.